Good morning, clan. Welcome to Forest Lakes, Arizona. We're here at my parents' cabin, getting the dirt bikes ready for our first ride of the week. I just started up the two littles, and they both started up great. Actually, the new bike, surprisingly, is not as responsive as I, as I was at home. Um, it's fuel injected, so you'd think that the weather wouldn't really affect it, but it doesn't seem to be running as quite as snappy as it did at my house. I don't know, maybe it just has to adjust to the altitude. Either way, both of the little bikes started up I just rode it around the property, they're warmed up, they're ready to go, and it uh, looks like Bryce is going to be the first one to go. He's getting his new gear on, look at that red, white, and blue, yeah, yeah. I got the new bag, so I gave the kids my old bag, so we kind of both have gear bags now. Still not, can't, still can't quite fit everything in there, so their gear's in there, but their helmets and, you know, chest protectors are all on the side. Do you, um, put my new gloves in one of these bags? Those are older bags. Then they're probably in my bag. So you has got her new jersey and pants on, how do you feel? Feel good? All right, all right. Getting geared up, looking good, buddy. You gonna you gonna tuck in your shirt? Or you gonna leave it untucked? Oh yeah. I'm just asking. Big. Is it big? Tuck it in. All right, we'll tuck it in. Oh, look at this little dirt bike rider. Look at this dirt bike rider. He's looking good. All right, now remember, this bike doesn't have it down is all the way neutral. So if you kick it all the way down, it's neutral. All right. So all you have is up for gears. Gears. <laughs> Cars, dude. There, you, there you go. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. It clicks, you hit the click, and then the bike kind of. So I just have to roll the throttle? Just roll it on. Don't snap it, just roll it. How's it feel, dude? Good. You like it? Yeah. It's definitely different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Four stroke versus two stroke. But you like it? Yeah. Tear it up, tear it up. When I started going and when I shifted up, it like braked. It like, it, well yeah, like it, it's kicking it in gear. And because it doesn't have a clutch, it's automatically in gear. So it's like a, it's like a chug. Oh, because I heard it, I heard it slide a little. Yeah, like, yeah. I like how you have your elbows up, but, but use, but scoot up a little bit. And use your, you know, you're, you're still too wobbly. You're still really wobbly, I know. I right? Love Loosen up a little bit, right? And use your your legs to hold the bike. All right, rock and roll. <laughs> he's got this. He's got this. He's already said he already went to four gears, Dad. He goes, I went to all four gears, Dad. It's only one ten, but still, a one ten is equivalent to, I don't know, a sixty. Right, 62 stroke, that's about, that's about right. He's loving it though, he's loving it guys. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. Build the confidence, wanna ride, ride more. How's that feel? Good. Good to go? All right, sister's turn. I like your gear guys, looks awesome. Looks good, huh? Yeah. Roll it on. Like a pro. Yeah. Let's see if she can shift. You gotta shift. You got her first crash. She turned turned too sharp and it slid out from underneath her. Pick it up. There you go. Use your legs. There you go. Good job. <laughs> that wasn't really a crash. It just kind of slid out from underneath you. It's all right. It's all right. Pick up the bike, pick up the bike. You're losing gas when you was laying down like that. There you go. Did you hurt your knee? Did you hurt your knee? Okay, okay. Now see, what, 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 look what happened. You, you, you gave too much gas in the turn and you peeled out, right? But you weren't ready for it. There you go, good job, good job. You're good, you're good. All right, so we had to take a quick break from the bikes. It started raining, it's raining pretty good. It's kind of one of the best things about being up here in the woods and the, and the trees when it starts to rain. It looks cool, sounds cool, smells cool. 
poor Tanner, he was about ride, getting ready to ride and it's starting to pour on him. <laughs> Rain stop. Time to ride. Are you so excited? I am very excited, but it's partial. I'm excited to ride because I love riding, but I'm also excited because Bryce is excited. Yes. Or I was like, he just said it like, Dad, I'm so excited. I'm like, for what? He's like, because I love riding this bike. And look at him, he's already geared up, ready to go mm -hmm. before, before I even got my bike started. I can already kickstart it. He can kickstart it. Nice. Yeah. So we found this UTV trail and uh, come to find out it's kind of technical, right? A lot of ruts, a lot of rocks, roots, uh, you know, sharp turns. You see right here, Bryce is kind of little big rocks here. And, you know, he's not, he's still a beginner. He's still a beginner. So he loved it though. He had a really good time and he did really good. He didn't crash once, guys. Uh, obviously he didn't stall the bike or anything. He just, he rode really smooth. Uh, the biggest the biggest lesson after riding on this was to stand up more. He still sits down on the seat too much, which you know gets him squirrely, gets him wobbly because he's bouncing up and down and around. And you know, once he once he uh, listened to me and was standing up on his feet on these trails, he was much much more in control and he could actually go a little bit faster. Uh, but really, guys, first time riding this bike, first time riding something this technical too. The the trail that he crashed on last time at Mormon Lake was not nearly as technical as this. That was pretty smooth. It was a Jeep trail. This thing is totally like rutted and um, you know boulders and rocks. And plus, with the uh, the water puddles, you don't know what's inside those. There could be a rock, it could be deep, it could be a rut. And he was going through them like a boss. So uh, as I, as you'll find out, as he says a little later, this was his favorite dirt bike ride ever. Found some mud. Look at this kid. Going oh, through buddy! Going through puddles. Look at him. Brand new bike looks looks broken in now. All right. Grandpa, Thank Grandpa, you. be proud, dude. Daddy's bike looks the cleanest. I know. I avoided Look those mud. Look at Mike. I, I avoided nice. those mud puddles. Did you? Oh, yeah. I was tearing it off. Oh. Well, that's later. I gotta wait till you're next to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's my first time. Bryce, yep, how was it? <laughs> you guys got awesome. Ride. Awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So we found, we found a nice UTV trail, you know, for razors and stuff, off-road, full of mud puddles from all the rain we just we just got, and uh, he did really good. It was pretty, I would say it's an intermediate, that was an intermediate place. Like, there was big rocks, big boulders, tree stumps, big puddles, and he's just trucking along the whole time. <laughs> he got squirrely, I think, maybe once or twice. When I got behind him, I could actually see him. But uh, as you can see, he went through the puddles, and, you know, he didn't crash once. But basically, Bryce, that is, that's dirt bike riding. 
We just did. That's dirt bike riding. These roads, that's boring. You can't even go fast because we're on a dirt road. We're on a, it's like a street. There's a speed limit. You get off road, you can go as fast as you want. <laughs> that was my favorite dirt bike ride that we've had. That was? Really? You said you didn't like it. Oh, no, like. That was your favorite dirt bike ride? Yep, that, that I've had. <laughs> I love it. That's what I want to hear. Oh yeah, he got it good. It's just it's it's an off road. It's got you know it's got rocks and uh, tree stumps and tree branches and stuff. It just it's a little gnarly ride. So for this ride, we left Bryce behind, and uh, Tanner, Mike, and I uh, went further than we did with Bryce, uh, just to kind of explore, see how technical these these uh, trails were. And uh, this actually went off into a road, and this was like a jeep trail slash road. Um, it goes right through this kind of uh, valley, this gulch, if you will, I don't know what it's called, prairie. <laughs> um, and uh, there's actually a, a, a big cabin and big uh, like pasture with, uh, I don't know, like 10 RVs, 10 trailers over here on the left hand side. Um, but it goes up the mountain and uh, uh, there's a land at the top of this hill at some point. But uh, I was able to open it up, you know, it was just a straightaway flat graded road. Uh, there wasn't any ruts or rocks at all. so. You know, I was able to kind of get it going. But eventually we turned back around and uh, headed back the way we came uh, and, and uh, went to the other side of the fork. Ended up uh, riding this power line road for a couple of miles, but there started getting some lightning going on, and we were like, eh, we probably shouldn't be riding underneath these power lines with lightning going on. So we ended up turning back around and uh, going through back into the woods, but we ended up again taking a different fork and going a different route, and uh, you know, we found some found some gnarly trails. Um, eventually, this trail gets pretty technical, and I eventually say, you know, let's turn back around. Uh, just because, you know, Tanner and Mike are still uh, fairly new at riding dirt bikes, period. I mean, they've only got maybe five rides under their belt, and this was hands down the most technical ride they've ever been on. Um, but Mike said, hands down, it's been his favorite ride. So uh, it kind of goes hand in hand. The more technical a ride is, uh, you know, the more thrills there are, the more uh, excitement there is, and it ultimately it's the most rewarding ride when you can, you know, do this and come away, you know, scratch free, so to speak. Woo, we found some mud, guys. Found some gnarly trails with some with some mud. And the bikes got a little muddy. Wouldn't you say? A little bit. I was avoiding some of the big ones, but I had a, I had a couple good ones. Splatter. Splatter Fest 2016. Bryce did not shy away either. He found all the mud. All the way back. But the king was Tanner. He went through every single mud pie, butt puddle that he could. The biggest, smallest, doesn't matter. He He's just covered in mud all the way down, all the way back. Mike was pretty good about it too. Muddy dirt bikes, the best. Dinner time? What do we got? Mexican food, tacos, burritos? Doing good, doing good? Doing real good. What are you watching? What are you watching? What are you watching? I want the chip wreck. Chip wreck. That's the third one? And the third one? Yay! Oh yeah. You know how we do Mexican food. Got the full spread all the way across the kitchen. So I apologize guys, I did not get a chance to give you guys a tour, a proper tour of the property here. And now it's already getting dark. But uh, his property line, it's a full acre, like a full acre, which I guess when you're in town, there's a smaller acre. But anyways, it's a full acre and this thing goes way back there and down the ravine. Um, there's some cool things to see, so I will try to do that for you guys tomorrow so you guys can actually see um, the property here. It's really cool. It's a really cool cabin, and I'm really glad we're keeping it in the family. All right, we're done with dinner. Now it's time for some dessert. It's time for some s'mores. 
What, what's your, what, you got regular chocolate or did you try one of the Reese's? Regular. Regular? Who's doing Reese's? Anyone doing Reese's? Um, we don't have Reese's. Somebody ate them all. Oh. Yeah, oh. Oh. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Reese's is not a typical s'mores ingredient. Fair enough. Been delicious though. Would have been good. Yeah. All right, so we're ending our night here in the trailer, trying to keep warm. It's uh, I don't know, like 65 degrees right now. Like the low tonight is 60. It's chilly outside. We were doing the campfire, but you know, eventually you gotta turn that. You kind of stop putting wood in there, and let it burn out. But we're getting all cozy in here. Everyone's chilling. Got baby. Campfire. <laughs> I'm getting our own campfire right there. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Hope you guys enjoyed that dirt bike ride. Many more to come. Like I said yesterday, guaranteed at least three videos, but most likely knowing Mike, we're going to ride every day. Thank you. Pretty much. Pretty much. So uh, Bryce already said he's that that ride was his the best ride. What did he, what did he say? His the best dirt bike ride he's ever had is what he said. That's what he said in that ride today. So he's already like, I can't wait to ride tomorrow. I can't wait to wait to ride tomorrow. So I think it's working, guys. I think it's working. So stay tuned. More dirt bike action tomorrow. And vlog on.